What a January transfer window it has been, and I couldn't have got through it without the One Football app. The One Football app has everything you need: news, gossip, and everything in between. Lee, you've had the One Football app for a while now. How much do you love it? I love it. I'm just looking at all the confirmed transfers that have been happening. It's been a very busy January for Newcastle, and the stories are still happening. And it puts all the articles together, so you don't need to look anywhere else. The link's in the description. Download the One Football app now. Newcastle Fans TV. Kieran Strip, you're over the wall. Once Hi, again. Villa fans. How are you? Remember me? That guy you keep picking on for the past few years on YouTube. I see all you was walking home to be Keep getting on the bus home. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Well, that's something that Lee's wanting to get off his chest, but Newcastle. For a few, yeah. <laughs> Newcastle. There's, there's 10 dislikes straight away. Yeah, straight away. away. <laughs> <laughs> but Newcastle have made it two wins in a week. Two wins, two huge wins against Everton today, against Aston Villa. Kieran Trippier's free kick was enough, enough for Newcastle. It took a slight deflection, but it's still counting as Kieran Trippier's goal. Lee, loads of changes, really, from Eddie Howe. Dan Byrne in. Javier Manquillo in. Uh, I think they were the only two actually I'll say, I'll say there was loads but they were probably the only two because no Jamal as sells but it was forced wasn't it yeah it was forced there was no map target but yeah, solid solid it wasn't, it wasn't a pretty game to watch it's, I know it was live on Sky they probably did wish they didn't pick it but Villa have got an awful record here shocking they haven't won since 2000 and well, it was a dire and Bowie fight aye right, five is that five 2005 something daft like that not a great game of football. Dubravka wasn't tested. Martinez wasn't really tested, really, to be honest with you. There was a couple of half chances either side. Um, the big turning point was, of course, was it a penalty? Was it not a penalty for work? I thought it was outside the box, even live. I was I was quite surprised. But I think what the referee's done, in, does it, uh, he's done, rather, is that as soon as he's pointed for the penalty, he knows if it can be overturned. He can overturn it, where if he gets a free kick and it, it, the player's in the box, I don't, think, I don't necessarily think they can overturn that. So I think he's probably gone with hindsight I'll, I'll give the penalty and then we'll check it yeah so you give it and then it was clawed back to the free kick we were all hoping it was Trippier or you've even got John Joe Shelby or you can get a thunder blast from Fabian Che but Trippier steps up against a wicked deflection a little bit of luck goes Newcastle's way 1-0 up and we're all singing his name again yeah it was a fantastic finish and actually, I, bet, I bet Ryan Taylor's hated it <laughs> <laughs> no I'm sure he's happy that Newcastle have won but no in all seriousness Newcastle had chances Chris Wood had a, a great opportunity which he Blasted nearly to the <laughs> the corner flag, but Newcastle were comfortable. If anyone was really going to um, extend the lead, it was Newcastle. The closest that Villa really got before half time was just corners, a lot of corners and a lot of set plays, and they were really targeting Debrafka, but we defended as a man absolutely fantastically well. Second half, Villa started brighter, started better. I was worried then, mate, because the first what was it, 10, 12 minutes? I'm keeping Trippi substitute as well, Lou. Mm, I was a bit worried there because it was all them. Um, really boxed us in, and we're just using the pace of Fraser and ESM and then obviously we had a bit of a spell didn't we uh, where we had a few corners and that kind of took the pressure off a little bit yeah it did and to be honest with you as well the turning point in the second half and Aston Villa we're looking at this was it a goal was it offside mm. I've not seen the benefit of a replay I don't think Lee has I thought it was close when I seen it live I thought you always think when there's someone at the far post unmarked is it offside and by the look of it it was about a five minute delay like it was such a long time for uh, checking to see how long uh, see if it was offside or not but eventually that lovely VAR sound I've not said that many times this season went on for ages though it didn't did it? too it long like, too long but I, I thought he was going to go into the screen and watch it well it didn't matter in the end the right decision was made <laughs> hopefully and Newcastle managed to keep it at 1-0 they defended as a man special shout out for Dan Byrne his Premier League debut for Newcastle well, and Joe Lynn Joe Lynn Joe was superb as well but Dan Byrne in particular marshalled that defence in particular when Kieran Talker, came he's out. a talker that's the first thing I, I don't know why I spot that all the time in players but he's all, he had to become the leader when Trippier went off and he was he was organising the defence the leadership was great to see yeah, Newcastle managed to hold on to St Maxim had a chance as well there uh, late on as well but Newcastle had done enough and now they're four points clear of Norwich I think it's, 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 it's completely changed and what a week for Newcastle look three <laughs> three wins in a row against Leeds Aston Villa and Everton now there is a little bit of a gap now which is brilliant brilliant to see so hopefully <coughs> hopefully Newcastle can keep this going at West Ham next week but which I'll be there yeah um, there's, there is a lad I have to say there's a lad sitting because he couldn't make it today on the train sitting in Redditch 
Uh, we all know who this lad is. He's a part of Newcastle <laughs> fans TV. I just click there. <laughs> he couldn't get up because of the train, so he's devastated. But Carl, shout out to you because you'll be feeling like a peacock tonight <laughs> amongst your Villa supporters. Enjoy. He certainly will. Just a little side note before we end this video. Uh, there's a couple of medical emergencies in the game today, so everybody on behalf of Newcastle mm. fans TV would like to wish all the best to the two people because there was one in the Gallagher and one in the East, and hopefully everybody is on the mend. And hopefully that they're celebrating a Newcastle victory when everything calms down a little bit. But I thought to with them at this time. But anyhow, anyhow, quick word on him. I wanted him in. Three wins in a row, I nine wanted... points on the board. What I, wa I wanted him in. I said it on the overlap. I wanted him in. And look, at, is he long term? I think he's got to be given a chance at least. Um, and now we're four points clear and we're starting to have a bit of confidence, a bit of swagger. We just hope that injuries aren't too bad going into the West Ham game. And that'll be a really hard game because they want Champions League football. Do, but let's just start celebrating tonight's result against Aston Villa. It's finished here at St James's Park, Newcastle 1, Aston Villa 0. We'll do scoring the players, we'll do scoring the players here as well because we've won a game of football on a Sunday against Aston Villa. Why not? And we've also got the last word later on tonight with a special guest. I can see him in the background, a special guest potentially on one of these videos as well. He's Irish. He's Irish, that's your, that's your only clue. <laughs> like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and we'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Newcastle Fans TV.